Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a mixing template in Reaper. Now, the purpose of creating a mixing template is going to allow us to mix a lot quicker because our tracks will already be set up for us, or at least close. Obviously, every mix isn't going to be the same, but having it set up how you prefer is going to save a lot of time each time we mix. Now, I'm not going to go through every single track by creating it, giving it a name, a color, and adding effects to it. I already created a whole bunch that I saved as track templates. Another technique is to simply save your previous mix and use those tracks without the audio on them. But we're going to use some track templates I created. So we could bring them in by right clicking, insert track from template, and go to the mixing templates I saved. Like my drums, I could bring in the kick which looks like this, with this color, with these effects already on it, my gate set up for my kick, how I prefer it, my compressor for kick, and my EQ for kick, with the frequency set up, how I usually mix a kick. And again, we're going to change this for every mix, but it's a great place to start. So rather than bringing them in one at a time, from here, let's go to the options menu and choose show reaper resource path. Then we can go to the folder down here, track templates, and find the track templates I saved under mixing templates. Let's go to the drums and bring in the snare, the hi-hat, the rack tom, the floor. Let's make these smaller the overheads, the drum room, and finally, the crush bus, which is a bus track I'm going to set up where I bus all the tracks to it and mix it back in with heavy compression. So I can set that up right now. Just select all these drums, hold down shift, and grab the routing, and send it to the crush bus, which is going to look like this, with each track being sent to the crush bus. And my compressor of choice already set up on that track. If we go to the mixer, not only do we see the effects on each track, we already set up the pans and the volume, at least as a starting point. But let's bring in some more tracks. I have some bass tracks right here, a DI and an amp. I have some guitars in here, an acoustic, an electric, and a solo. And if I want to duplicate any of these tracks, because I need more, we could always do that. But let's bring in some keyboards, like a piano, and a keyboards track, and then the vocals. A lead vocal. We could bring in both background vocals right here. And again, we could duplicate these if we need more for our mix. And then finally, let's bring in some effects returns that I already set up with effects plugins on them, like my vocal verb. It already has a delay for a pre delay and then a reverb, reverb, with an impulse response already on there, set up for vocals. In fact, let's send the vocals to it now. Hold on shift. Let's bring down the sends so we can start out dry and bring them up when we need them. At least it's set up to already send to that reverb. Then let's bring in a drum verb that could be our reverb for drums and send the drums to that. Hold on shift and drag it to the drum verb. And again, we'll bring them down so they start out dry. Then let's bring in some more effects, like an echo, 
that has a delay already on there, a stereo delay, left and right, let's send the lead vocal there. But set it up, but bring the send down so it starts off dry. And then bring in a chorus effect, an eighth note delay, a quarter note delay, and finally, a half note delay, which is all set up with their effects ready to go. But I'm not going to bust anything to the delays. We could do that as we need them. But now I want to go to the master track and add an effect to the master 2 bus. I already created an effects chain, so I could bring it in by right clicking and choosing it right here master 2 bus. And this chain has a compressor, another compressor, a multiband compressor, and a limiter. And I want to start my mix with these effects on the master track. So they're already going to be there in the mix template. Now if we want to adjust our project settings, this is a good time to do that. Go right here and make any adjustments or any other settings you want for your mix template. Because it's going to be saved with the project template file. And one other thing I want to do, let's make the vocal track a little bigger so it stands out. Let's do the same with the kick and snare. And then I want to save this as a screen set. Go to View, go to Screen Sets, Layouts. And if we go to Track Views right here, these are the screen sets that are going to be saved with this project. So we can set up a few to make it easier to work with our tracks. For example, let's save the first one with our track heights and visibility as all tracks. Then I'm going to change so we just see our drums. Let's select all the tracks and then deselect the drums. Go to the track manager and hide all the other tracks. So now we're just going to see the drums. Let's make these two a little bigger and save that as a screen set with the same two options drums only. And let's recall all tracks and do the same with our vocals. Select all the tracks, deselect the vocals, track manager and hide the rest of the tracks. So now we just see the vocals. Make it a bit bigger. And we could save this as a screen set. Vocals only. And now we can recall each one of these with this keystroke, F4, F5, and F6. Hit F4. Now we see all the tracks. Hit F5, now we just see our drums, and F6, we just see our vocals. So it makes it easier to, to jump around and just see the tracks we want to work on. And of course, you can create as many as you want in this window. But if it's set up in advance, you don't have to do it each time. It's already going to be in our mix template. So now we're ready to save our mix template. Let's go up here to File and choose Project Templates, Save Project as Template. Then we can give it a name. And now we're good to go. So we're ready to mix a song when we're starting with nothing. Just go up here and choose Project Templates and load up our mixing template. So it's ready to go just like that. So now we could bring in our audio files to mix. So I have a client who sent me some audio files to mix right over here. I can just drag them in one by one. I can grab my kick and drop it on this track. And it pops right in, ready to go. With the effects that I prefer, with the volume and pan I prefer, and the color of our drums, ready to go. And I can just do the same thing with each track. 
Grab my snare. My hi-hat. I don't have a rack tom, but I can grab the floor tom and just delete the rack tom because we don't need it. Grab the overheads, the room mic, our bass guitars, the DI, and the amp, and some guitars. We have an acoustic, an electric. Now we don't have a solo guitar, but we have a slide. So I'll drag that in to that track and just rename it. And do the same for a piano. And for a Mellotron, I'll just drag it to the keys and rename that track. Then our vocal and our background vocals, which we can drag in together. Because it's going to ask to put them on separate tracks. And it did it just like that. So our tracks are brought in with all our settings and our volumes, how I mostly prefer them. And we can play our tracks and start to create a final mix, which can be a lot quicker when it's all set up like this. And we can create as many mixed templates as we want. Maybe create ones for different types of music, or even create a separate one for each artist or band you're working with. Either way, it's going to speed up how you mix. And we're done bringing everything in. We can just save it as its own project right here. Save project as, give it its own name, and it'll be its own project file. So that's pretty much it. That's how to create a mixing template in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!